In other words, improperly removing the central control rod would immediately kill everyone in the building. Just 60 seconds later, at 9.01 p.m., this is exactly what happened. As the report completed years later would conclude, Burns withdrew the central control rod many inches too far, and just four milliseconds later, a power surge of 10 million percent above normal operation explosively vaporized the core of SL-1. Cooling water was blasted upwards by this vaporized fuel and struck the top of the vessel with an extreme amount of momentum, enough to lift the entire 26,000-pound apparatus over nine feet into the air. The plugs at the top of the reactor were forced open by the over 500 pounds per square inch of pressure, and the control rods were fired, like missiles, at the ceiling. 